Well hello Fujifilm fans everywhere. Today we're going to look at X-Trans sensors. Now some people love the X-Trans over the Bayer. Some people say no, no the Bayer is better. Others can't tell the difference. But the X-Trans has a special place in the Fujifilm world. They developed it specifically for their own camera line and uh, it does quite a unique job. Now there's been four iterations or four generations of the X-Trans sensor so far with Fujifilm. Starting from the original X-Trans which is represented here in my Fujifilm X-M1 and then we went to the X-Trans 2 sensor which is represented in my X-70 here. Then the X-Trans 3 came out and I've got that in my Fujifilm X-E3. And then the current latest version, the X-Trans 4, which is in my X100V. I didn't plan it that way, I just happened to have a collection of cameras that uh, had the different X-Trans sensor generation in each. So I'm able to actually compare the different X-Trans sensors against each other by taking photos. Now this isn't a tech spec video. You can hunt up that stuff online uh, and as far as differences go there are specific differences between the X-Trans sensors. Not just megapixel size but the way they deal with uh, light hitting them and how they render the image. They're all a bit different. I'm not going to get into that. What I'm going to get into is letting you see the pictures, the photos taken with each of these X-Trans sensors, the four different generations, and you can see whether you can actually see a difference and whether the difference you see is something you like. Because that's what it comes down to, your personal preferences. Uh, I've seen numerous posts by people saying, oh, scored an X-Pro1 the other day, real cheap, it's the best. It gives, gave such unique image quality because of the sensor in it, which is the original X-Trans sensor in the X-Pro1, same as in the X-M1. And others say, oh no, it's the X-Trans2 sensor was the better one. It gives, you know, especially in black and white, it's fantastic. And you can go right up the line to the X-Trans 4 here, represented in my X100V. People rave about that. It's so clean and clear and sharp and fantastic rendering of detail. And it comes down to what you like. And I'll state this right at the start of the video, before you even see the photos. It's personal preference. Okay? Now the other thing too, is people will say, oh, the X-Pro1 uh, gave the best images. And what they're talking about is the sensor and processor inside it. Because the X-Pro1 has the same sensor and processor as the X-M1 here. The, the only difference between the X-M1 and the X-Pro1 is the body shape where they put the controls. It's the same sensor, same processor, using the same lenses, interchangeable lenses. Remember, you put the same Fujifilm lenses on, you're going to get the same image. You won't be able to tell whether it came from an X-Pro1 or the little uh, X-M1 or even the X-E1. They had the same. They'll all give identical images. And you can huff and puff about, oh, but the X-Pro one was better. Only the body, if you prefer that. The handling experience you might have preferred. But the photo will turn out exactly the same because it's using the exact same sensor, processor, lens. Same with uh, the X-Trans 2 here. In my X-70, it's the same as in the uh, X-100S, the X-E2, the X-T1. Uh, and the XE2S identical. The only difference being this is a fixed lens so you're stuck with that. 
X-Trans 3 sensor in my XC3 here. It's the exact same as in the X-Pro2 and the X-T2, which I'm videoing on right now. Same processor, same sensor. You can change the lenses so you can use the same lenses. You won't be able to tell the difference. The X-H1, top of the line, you know, king of the castle, same thing. Same processor, sensor, and use the same lenses. You'll get the same image. And of course the X100V with the X-Trans 4, the latest X-Trans sensor. It's exactly the same as in the wonderful X-Pro3, but also the X-T3 and the X-T4, they use the same. Check out the pictures I've taken, I'm going to show you the same photo taken with these four cameras representing the four different processors and sensors. See what do you think? Because that's what it comes down to, personal preference. <laughs> he always has to have the last word. Okay, so when I'm comparing the four different X-Trans sensors, they're in four different cameras, so I'm trying to make them a similar output as I can. So there's a couple of restrictions that I've had to uh, build into the other cameras to uh, match them down to the sort of lowest common denominator. The uh, X100V has the equivalent of a 35mm lens. It's got the 23mm built in. So with the interchangeable lens cameras, the two, the XE3 and the XM1, I'm using the Fujifilm's 23mm f2 lens there. I swap between. So 23mm, 23mm, put it on here, 23mm, which leaves this one, the old one, out because this is the 18.5mm built on lens on the X70 uh, which is a 28mm equivalent so couldn't match the two because fixed lens, fixed lens, different focal length so I tried to even them out as much as I could the other difference I had to uh, work with is the X70 again the lens here wide open it's 2.8 whereas this is a 2 the, this 23mm is a 2 so the widest open I went with all these cameras is 2.8 I didn't try to cheat so when I was taking the images the widest open I shot was 2.8 and I kept the ISOs the same for each shot and the uh, aperture was the same for each shot and let the camera figure out then the shutter speed now all the specs will go up with each picture as you see them so I made it an even playing field as I could with these images. The other thing of course is with the X70 being uh, the 18.5mm lens compared to the 23 on the others, you'll get a slightly wider point of view or angle of view with this. I didn't try to crop that or do anything like that. The pictures are straight out of camera, okay, even when I think they're a bit too dark or whatever. They're straight out of camera, haven't bucked around with them. You'll get just what the X-Trans sensors captured. Okay, here are the images.
Okay, how did you like that? Could you tell much of a difference? And which H-Trans sensors do you like working with? Do you like the original? Or the two? Or the three? Or the four? Let us know in the comments below. And uh, whatever you do, pick up your camera, go for a walk, and have fun. Ciao.